covenants in a nutshell. You want to start with that one? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's do it. Ma Walker, this is a very important choice. You must choose a covenant. Okay. I'd suggest you check in with every covenant emissary in this room. Don't need to do that. So you can see Just what they all have Simcraft. to offer you. And you make the choice that resonates with you the most. Oh, right, right. Uh, okay, I see. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is gaming in 2021. Everybody knows it. It's a meaningful decision. It means he doesn't get kicked out of his raid for picking the wrong one. Ooh, Venthyr. This okay, my walker. <laughs> it's cool that you decided to join the Venthyr. Uh, say, do you want to write you a sin stone? Uh, you know, just for fun, that's kind of what we do. Yeah. We write down your sins and stuff. You know. Great. Uh, uh, okay, let's see. Great. Um, let me take a good look at you. Huh. I can think of a... I can think of a few sins. I can think of actually a lot of sins. Most, uh, most Worgen players play. A lot of, a lot of real bad sins. Oh shit. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. You, you beg from every person in Stormwind separately. By whispering to them and lying that you need gold for your first mount. Wow! You, you get impatient with new players in your dungeon groups, so you vault kick them. My man! You go in the enemy's capital. Hey! And, and you can't get gay low level players that are in war mode. <laughs> you <laughs> sick fuck. I think I picked the right covenant. So what? Why did you decide yeah. to join the Kyrian? Oh, uh, I mean, I like having the my girls are sick. servant, and uh, I do like the lore. <laughs> they get to help noble souls and what a loser. Sin and find their role in the afterlife. Yeah. And um, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Jesus, this is. This is intense! Wow. <laughs> Sylvanas is temporary. Bastion is forever. Uh, if it's the thing the is, like... Then I never want to live again. The thing is, like... It's not wrong. It's definitely not wrong. This is exactly what you would have expected, man. I've been right about... I I'm, I'm two for two right now. The grab, yeah. Ugh, this zone is so weird. I'm sick and tired of seeing these dumb trusts because they remind me of BFA. These fairy things are so creepy. Yeah, what they the are. What the wrong with their hands? Also, why is everyone a furry? I, 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 I just can't take it here. Walk. Yeah, welcome Yo, to Ardenwild. what the fuck? Shut up. I only chose Night Fate because it's my best in slot. I swear, I, I had no choice. Come, William. Found more wild seeds, ripe for the baking. What the fuck? Let us feast. I hate this place. I do feel like probably 80% of the people that pick Night Fae, so 20% of the people that play Night Fae are furries. And the other 80% of the people that play Night Fae hate Night Fae, but they play it because it's the best spec for Mythic Plus. Like, that's really what it is. But the 20% furries, yeah, because it's Biss. Like, let, let's be honest. Uh, yeah, and then there's Bajira who plays it for the, the one-shot Twitter videos. I've seen them. I, I, I watch them. I'm still, I'm not respecting them. Ooh. Maldraxxus is for losers. It sucks. Everybody knows it. A fly trap? You're so cute! Who's my widow abomination? <laughs> oh. Whoa! Oh, this is so fun! I love- You know what's really funny about this? Is the hairstyle that this troll has was actually one of the hairstyles in one of the pictures that caused the Dr. Seuss pic books to get removed. Just... It's kind of funny to see. 
being a necrolord. Okay, let's go. Well, I, I, it's like a, oh my god, oh, it's a so racist confused. thing. I don't know. <laughs> okay. What was that? That was actually the most accurate I could have expected. I think out of all four of the covenants, Maldraxxus is the most boring covenant. Like, Venthyr is the coolest. Everybody knows that. Um, Ardenweald is, you know, it's cool. Uh, if you, you know, if you're a furry, it's really cool. And, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Bastion is really good. You've got a, a Pilav. Oh, Pilav play, yeah, Pilav is, I, I think he's fucking, uh, he's Bastion because he plays PvP. I saw him using the, uh, the spear. Like, it's good for PvP, but overall, yeah, you just you just go carrying because they're hot. Let's be honest. Oh, he's Venthyr? Smart guy. Yeah, I knew he was good at the game. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course he is now. Yeah, it's good. He's a smart guy. Uh, let me do this other video, and then we'll go over and watch the Internet Historian one, okay? Bolvar rubbed his... Okay. Let's go. Guys, I, I gotta be real with you. Truth is, I'm spent. Okay, yeah. I can't think of any new video ideas. Same. I mean, it I happens to, stop to everyone, because of it. right? After weeks of writing and scrapping stuff mm. over and over again, I just think there's nothing else I could do. Yeah. And that's why. I understand. I decided to ask you guys for help. I basically what could went go live wrong? on Twitch and closed my eyes. After I opened them, I chose the first chat message I saw and I wrote it down until I had a full script made up of random messages by random people that tried to make something coherent. Let me ask you guys a question. Do you think this plot line that he's going to do in the video will make more sense than more Lords of Draenor? Wait, you guys are already saying yes! I, I didn't even, I didn't even get a chance to fucking say it. Listen, yeah, yeah, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me do a video. And uh, the result is um, something. <laughs> anyway, enjoy. Okay. Addiction, a touching story of love, betrayal, and redempt beyond. Okay. Bastion. Ooh. Lines of soul ash and oribos. Everything was normal until he started shaking and falling to the ground, listening. Ape gang. One strange voice in his head, whispering in his head. Why you let so get your ass? True. Remember the fight and rubs his ass. That was some. He begged one of the DK servants for some ice on his nice bottom. Yeah, this is definitely from Twitch chat. Um, that was some simp shit. I still can't get over that. The fact that they had Bolvar lose. What a joke. What a fucking joke. Oh, band, shut up. It's not against the rules to say simp. Because if... If it was, they would have had to ban Blizzard because they were fucking simping for Sylvanas and, and, and letting Bolvar die. That's right, I said it. Somebody's got to fucking say it. They'd have banned Blizzard. What a bunch of horse shit that was. Can you believe it? First sniffs his fingers and says, Hmm. Intrigued by his odd finger sniffing, a yak walked to him. Okay. Pandaria. Hey. Uh, Hemet shoots it. Over. Viper, can you make a group? And shouts at Hemet for killing his potential one night stand. Hemet yep. screams. It's one night Bolvar. stand. Wait. Hi, Lord. Oh, you have to keep it together. Over replies. You're right. But I can't get over that ass beat Sylvanas gave me. <laughs> me either. Me a either. Gang of brokers show up and tell Bolvar to pay up for the animal loan he used to get his soul ash. Okay. After no. Bolvar refuses, no. they kick his ass. Please. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Oh. Not like again. <laughs> Bolvar rubbed his round bottom again and looked out the window thinking of a way- Oh, I know where he did this. He he did this part of it on uh, the just chatting. That That's where they got the, the rubbing. Yeah, I was wondering. 
Yeah, it makes sense. Pay to repay his debt. Maybe mailbox dancing? Bolvar goes to their nasses to seek wisdom on how to mailbox dance from night elves. Band again. Oh, yeah. right. He has no luck. Yeah. He moves to Goldshire. A hooded figure you... sits in the back of Lion's Pride Inn, like Aragorn in Bree. He notices Bolvar. He offers him a ton of anima in return for a favor. Bolvar thinks to himself, this guy seems shady, but I do need that anima to pay off my loans. Rate my transmog. <laughs> The hooded figure says, "Wow, it's just like, it, it's just like me. Like, I, there are so many people, they will get my attention and they will want me to rate their transmog. And I'll be honest with you guys, anytime that somebody does that, I always tell them it sucks. I'm like, it sucks. It doesn't matter how good it is. I'm like, yeah, it sucks. And I mean, to be fair, I'm almost always right. You know, well, they're trying to fuck with me, dude. They're trying, they're trying to mess with me." calmly to Bolvar. Bolvar says, Dio, but I want you to rate my transmog as well. The Full set. individual tells him it looks like shit without a helmet. True. The voice in his head reappeared and said, Enough! You have to focus on how to regain your honor and instill fear in the bones of your enemies and bring down Sylvanas. <laughs> Bolvar has a trading montage. Okay, good. Before jumping into the mob. I'm liking this video. Raging battle run. Oh my god. This is- oh. And is immediately obliterated by Sylvanas. Just casually- Jesus Christ. Not again. You know, honestly... Sylvanas using an arrow to peg Bolvar... Can we really write off that not being the cinematic for the next raid? Because at this point... With Blizzard... It could, you know, I mean, you never know what these things could happen. Shooting an arrow at him. In that moment, Bolvar hears. Bolvar. Wake up. Bolvar, wake up. Flashback from the dragon fire. Oh, the first time Bolvar he's got his ass beat. Younger Bolvar. No. Good. And younger Bolvar says. Stop being a bitch. This is trash. After a great yeah. struggle with his thoughts. The Bolvar suddenly hears the encouraging voice of his old friend Tyrion. Okay. You must cast off your shame and move on. Bolvar arises with the encouraging words from Tyrion. Yeah. I know what must be done. I'm on my way. <laughs> Bolvar stands in front of the rune carver. What? And asks he can craft him a helmet. Oh, the rune carver asks for so ash and Bolvar starts shaking. He has to then do Torghast. There is this gnome coming with his... <laughs> then there is this gnome coming with his soul ash that he farmed his entire month. And then Bolvar takes the gnome and steals the soul ash. I like it. Looks at the soul ash, trying yeah. to resist. This is good. He sees a undead storting soul ash as a reminder. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking vacuum sound. That's good. Bolvar sits in group therapy and says, Well, and so I snorted all the soul ash. Uh, Magnus says you know he knows feeling. the feeling. Magnus. <laughs> yeah, he sure does. <laughs> Champion. Champion. <laughs> Give me some Azerite. We've got a lot of them. There's a lot of Azerite in this area. Bring it to me quick. Magnus says he knows the feeling. Magnus says, I can feel her inside me. Oh, Azeroth. Bolvar looks extremely disgusted and accepts who he is, thinking he doesn't want to follow that law. Uh -huh. Bolvar goes back to Oribos and meets up with Hemet. He puts his hand over his shoulder and thanks They him. make up? Oh, Hemet no. looks at him confused as Bolvar walks away, ready to start his new job as the innkeeper of Oribos. What the fuck? The end. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, whatever that was. You guys can give yourselves a round of applause since it was technically made by you. If you want to hang out and maybe participate in future similar events, be sure to visit me over on Twitch. Take care. Slash kiss. Goodbye. Honestly, 
that's probably an upgrade for what he is now. Like, Bolvar is a joke. He is a joke.